Okay, hello everybody. It's your girl Catherine, Cat for short. I'm back here with another episode of. I'm here with another episode of To the Moon. It's a new day, new recording session, and we'll get right back into it. I don't remember what was actually going on, but I am Dr. Neil this time. I don't remember all the voices either, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, oh yeah, I click. Oh okay. Oh okay. So I'm looking for the memory fragments. I have to give him his pickled crap. Not crap, but like pickled olives. Why? Oh yeah, he sounded like James from Pokemon. Why? Is that a bottle of pickled olives for your sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? I hate olives. I think it's actually super gross. Indeed I am. I just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Do people actually drink that? Like, they have a full jar, and they just drink it straight? Like, isn't it solid? Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Yeah, about disable taste simulation? No. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. Is it really that gr- Okay, well, I actually hate pickled stuff. Like, I just hate pickles in general, and pickled anything. Pickled radish, pickled olives, and I already don't like olives. But, like, I actually don't get that, that process. Is it actually, like- Liquid? No, well, that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, oh yeah, because old people like talk for a really long time. No offense to old people, they're great. I've worked with old people before. It's just that. Okay, I'm not reading the dialogue. Sorry. Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. <laughs> they're wonder. Oh, they're wonderful, aren't they? Kind of sounds like Professor Oak. Oh. Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Right here, I find them to be disgusting. Hello, me, me, me. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. Ooh. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. Oh no, one more, one more. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Oh, of course, the ever millennial talk. Those young whippersnappers not knowing what's going on. Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Eh, okay. What? <laughs> it whoops out his dick. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was so crude. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. So is it like, are things happening in real time right now with this? Like, he actually had to wait X amount of... Oh, don't you, don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. How would you do it not by the books? Hulk smash! Sorry. Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Damn it, Neil! Totally worth it. Alright, alright. Prepare. Let's prepare this. I'm really bad at these, so I'm sorry. I'll probably, like, fast forward through these ones. I can't get them at four. Let me go. I'm gonna get one. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have to. Okay. I think I know how to do this. Nope. Don't know how to do this. Did I accidentally... Oh. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, we can go in. Activate memento. Activate. To the moon. In, in, in. Oh, it's a lighthouse! And they're younger! Yay! Yay! We're getting close. Is this a really short game? I don't know. People just said it was good, and I was like, alright, I'll play it. But that's really pretty. I've never actually... Have I been inside a lighthouse? I don't think so. Crikey Nightcrackers! You want Australian. Crikey Nightcrackers. Is that what Australian people say? Jeez. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. 20 billion nanom... Okay, well that's like... Tw Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive! 
Well, Neil, just suck it up. Can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this plays... Eva, what the frick of fracking? Wuss. I agree. Th so he don't he doesn't feel any pain, and they can like turn off their senses if they so wish. Oh oh, emotional music is coming on. River, why would they abandon her like this? I suppose. Oh wait, crap! He's younger now, so he doesn't have that weird Professor Oak voice. I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is. Now that everything has GPS and all that. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Look, River. <laughs> Look, River. <laughs> this place means a lot to me, too. And I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. Aw, oh, that's cute. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm... We'd be able to see her from the window! Why are they calling it a her? In the morning, at night, we'd always be ne nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. Oh. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. I feel like instead of going to the moon, this guy's dream is to have this freaking lighthouse. Or like watch over the lighthouse. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. Like why does he want to go to the moon? Because it feels like he just wants to be in the lighthouse. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. Oh yeah, fuck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a good quote. That's a Pinterest quote, everybody. I'm gonna take a picture of that, you know? Whoever wrote this script is pretty rad. I'm gonna just... Yes. Moving on. That's a good quote! The important thing is that over here, they are happy. That's good! Oh, Let's move on. That's that's cute. Wait, wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouses Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Oh, what the frick? Then that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. Yeah, that's what I think. What the heck? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. <sighs> Dang. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. Okay, so she refused treatment for a lighthouse, but that lighthouse has been like their dream for what seems like forever. So I guess it's worth it if you find it that precious to you, you know? It's none of our business anyway, she's not our client. So you've known Anya. The thing is like, now I'm curious as to what makes Anya so important. Wait, where are they going? Oh, that's with them leading up to the lighthouse. Because if she's such a lighthouse, maybe they had like a lot of special moments in there. Or maybe they had like... Especially like that whole... Oh, I have all of them. Do I just go back? I guess so. Yeah, so like it really makes me wonder what was going through these people's heads they would think that a lighthouse is more important than their life, you know? Like, as- as- I'm a very huge believer in the whole, like, it's very precious to me too, where I will- I'm a pack rat and I'll tend to keep everything, like, movie ticket stubs and stuff like that. But, like, those m moments, if you remember them, they're gone. Like, that's what makes it so nice, is that- it's a moment that passes, and that's what makes it so precious at the same time. So, if you were to sort of try and preserve that, especially at the cost of, like, your life, then I don't feel like it might be that. 
I don't know. That's totally contradicting as what I was saying earlier when I thought said it might be worth it, but... Oh, oh, there it is. I didn't even see that. Jeez. Great. Yeah, I don't know. That's just what I think, and it might be all over the place, especially when I'm talking over the video, but... I did it in five! Yes! Okay, let's get this going. Activate! Activate! On to the next memory! I'm going so fast. Oh, okay. Um, he has a mustache. That's kind of funny. I, I don't really like mustaches myself. Beards are... Like, my boyfriend usually has one if he just doesn't, like neglect it for if he ne neglects it for a while but uh i'm always like i don't like it it's itchy meh i don't know i am a girl so i've never actually had a beard full on like <sighs> okay i guess we're going downstairs oh okay so i guess this is a different house an old baby grand piano how the heck did they move this thing who knows but i bet it'd be a piece cave for the tardis Hey, Doctor Who! Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settle is, settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. Great. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I like this. See, like, I I really like the script in this. Not the kids, which is why I didn't like them earlier, but... New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I know. I think I know where this is going. Uh oh Yeah, me too. She was obsessed with making those. Oh. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? I'm trying to give him that, like, musky voice. I'm failing. Come on. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Wow, she really likes to, uh, huh, to ask people about things that she made. Describe the rabbit. It was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. It's more than a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. Then again, I'd be in that same position if people were like, I gave you this thing. Look at it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. Dot dot dot. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Come on, just say it. Perhaps, who knows? Is it like obsessive compulsive disorder? Where like she's obsessed with these making with making these rabbits? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. That's sad. Okay, there's the memento. So this is the day she started it, huh? Oh. In the trash bin? Many long strands of orange hair. Did she have cancer? Cancer patients aren't like obsessed with making paper rabbits though. Yeah, that's why she said it's odd for even for that. Oh crap. Look at that. 
Three times as much as I needed for the ideal. Is it like always the same mementos? These mementos seem to always be either like a piece of paper, the platypus thing, or the rabbit. Oh, okay, he's even younger now. So, like, okay, I I understand maybe maybe it's some sort of like stress disorder where River can't seem to handle a certain amount of stress or anxiety, and that's why she sort of manifests that by making the paper rabbits, or the paper rabbits are a way for her to either maybe, maybe it's like a very early form of Alzheimer's where making these rabbits is very um, therapeutic for her and they help her sort of remember and grasp at stuff. But the way that she keeps asking John why, like what they look like, it means, it's as if like, she's asking for something from John. So it, may, it leads me to believe that maybe it was John who forgot something or John who owes her something because she seems to be grasping at that and she doesn't know how to express it so she makes the rabbits and she's just like this is this thing tell me about it like she's grasping at that because she wants to tell John that's totally a girl thing though 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 that's totally a girl thing where it's just like I'm fine are you sure I'm fine okay and then the girl gets all mad because she's just like of course i'm not fine you have to ask me about he's like i asked you twice i know i do that a lot because i'm crazy this is where the house used to be isn't it the house that never should have been i mean really what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people uh -huh. Acrophobia. <sighs> okay, well, enough of theorizing what River has at the moment. Oh, wait, I'm gonna go up here. Is there a way to go up here? Nope. Let's go over there. All right, let's head up. So this is before even the bridges were being made and stuff. Ooh, young lovers. Oh, I love love stories. They're so cute. And th but this is like a reverse love story, so it's like, ugh. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting. Oh my gosh, it's like in a manga or an anime where the guy is actually dared to, um, uh, like, ask a girl out. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? I feel like that hacky sack has something to do very important. Ooh, it's like a Korean drama. And then... River! Are you insane? Get away from there! Why did she ask him to throw it and then she went after it? Jeez. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they might be connected? Probably. Yeah, so it's like in manga or anime where like the whole love story starts off because they're um the guy is like dared to ask out the girl and then the girl find and then the girl is just like, "Oh, you're so nice, blah blah blah." And actually it wasn't because he was all like, "Oh, I really why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair." Yeah, and oh, she cut her hair. She didn't lose it. Okay, so that nixes out cancer. Maybe. And then he's like, no, take me back. I didn't mean it. Like, I didn't know how good of a person you were. I don't know. 
Oh, that backpack has been like a memento before too. Hmm. Everyone with it is different, John. Oh, oh, they're talking about River's disease. Okay. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate, it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was... For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. She's right there, guys! Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it my whole life, or all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. Dot dot dot. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. If it's like very, like a lot of, huh, I've never met a woman with it before, then technically you still haven't met one. Oh shoot. This isn't part of our business, let's move. I'm, I'm guessing they're talking about some form of very advanced autism. Um, obviously that's just a very not, that's not a very good diagnosis, especially I'm not very well versed in that. Um, but yeah. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Man, that's hard! There's a shit ton of faces you see every day. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. <laughs> I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I, I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. No, they're not! What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Oh. 
I can understand how he feels. Not because I have first-hand experience with someone who has difficulty expressing himself or herself. Um, but... Yeah, it's just... It's hard if a person just feels socially isolated, especially from someone that they love. Oh crap, what is David's anamorph? I don't know, a cat? Oh shit, cat? That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Whoops. Oh crap. A lion? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go talk to someone else. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, David, David, David! Cobra, classic, classy wolf. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Oh, Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Cobra Kai, Sensei! Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Cobra. Yeah! Oh, yeah, Cobra! Solid. These plain sheets, those were cool. Where is the memento? Is it here? Where's the memento? Oh, is it the backpack again? That would make sense. Would make sense, and it's not. Bruh. Is it in the bookshelves? Oh, 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 oh. Great, found it. I never read the Animal series. I was more an Animal Arc person. <laughs> And I really like fairy tales. I still do. Okay. Mm. Made a mistake on that one. <laughs> okay, so Animorphs is a thing. Where are we now? Oh, okay, we're in a new section. We're in a new section. We're going fast, going fast. Actually, I totally forgot to even just uh, stop the episode there. Woo, I must have been going for a while. I didn't set my timer up. Lamau. Uh, so that's the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. The plot is getting thicker and thicker and it's just so viscous, I can't even swim through it. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one and I hope to see you soon. Bye!